Hey guys, what is up? It is the Fast Break Report here bringing you guys another vlog. I just got back from playing golf. I took off today because it's the only nice day of the week we're going to get here in New York. Every weekend, for whatever reason, in New if you live in New York, for whatever reason, whenever you're at work outside is fucking beautiful but as soon as the weekend comes it's raining you got 20 mile an hour winds you can't go outside you don't feel like going outside so I took off today I wanted to play golf so I said fuck it that's what I'm gonna do um, but I did want to talk about the Atlanta Hawks and Trey Young uh, because against the Pacers Trey Young did not have a very good showing uh, in the last regular season game of the year he put up 12 points had 12 assists and eight turnovers as opposed to John the DeJounte Murray, who put up 32 points and shot 66% from the field, 66% from three, and 66% from the free throw line. Um, I've been saying this for a while now, I uh, that the Hawks should keep DeJounte Murray and trade Trey Young. And while a trade for Trey Young is going to be very hard to pull off because of how much money he makes, and I don't think he's as sought after as people would like to think, um, the Atlanta Hawks right now have... Uh, have to kind of look themselves in the mirror and say, like, you know, what do we want to do going forward? Um, I understand Trey Young is still a relatively young basketball player, but DeJounte Murray has proven that, like, it, they can go with either or. They can go with Trey Young or they can go with DeJounte Murray, but to me, the better defender, the better path forward is with DeJounte Murray. Um, and when you consider their two contracts, DeJounte Murray's contract is considered a value contract in today's NBA. Um, he is a guy that has come up in big moments over the season. When Trey Young has not played, he's stepped up to the plate. He's a better defender. I think he's even in some ways a better facilitator. He doesn't turn the ball over as much. He's just, to me, I think DeJounte Murray is a way better player than Trey Young. And there's gonna I'm gonna catch flack for that, and that's fine, but like Trey Young is a guy that needs to be the system. You know, he's not a system player. DeJounte Murray is a guy that can play in a system. Trey Young reminds me of a guy that's like if he were forced to play with somebody else, I simply don't know how well that would work. You know, like we look at some guys around the league, like a Luka Doncic, right? Even James Harden. It's like James Harden's not what he used to be. But if you put the right shit around James Harden, you're going to go to the playoffs and do it pretty consistently, right? James Harden's going to find a way to make that work. But the thing is, Trey Young is a guy who's been inconsistent with going to the playoffs, not going to the playoffs. Ever since he had that really good series against the Knicks in the playoffs a couple years ago, they, they haven't been the same team ever since. And... This is a team that doesn't hit well on on draft picks. They're not a big free agent destination. Like, yeah, they hit on Trey Young. They hit on Jalen Johnson. They gave up on Cam Reddish. De DeAndre Hunter seems like he's another guy they're going to give up on at some point or another. Um, they've got guys on their team making a lot of money that they would probably like to move off of. Bojan Bogdanovic is probably one of those dudes. Um, they have Clint Capella, but it's like, how good is Clint Capella really? Um, they're just a team that is like stuck in mediocrity, unfortunately. And when I look at them, I just think to myself, like, why don't you just get rid of Trey Young, get that contract off your books, even if you have to take on a Ben Simmons or somebody like that, like, there's one year left on that deal, right? This is a team that I feel like should just try to rebuild the whole fucking thing and rebuild it around DeJounte Murray because it's just... Trey, like you, they, in order for the Hawks to get what they want for Trey Young, they have to find a team that's really desperate, like the Spurs, which is surprising enough because they traded the Spurs for DeJounte Murray. They traded all their draft picks to them. But if they could get some of those draft picks back and maybe get, I don't know, a Malachi Branham out of them or even a Blake Wesley or something and get some of those draft picks back in exchange for Trey Young. I think that's a win, you know, like, it's just the idea, Atlanta is a team that, they haven't been great on draft picks, most free agents, it doesn't seem like a hot free agent destination, they're just a team that is stuck in, in mediocrity, and so long as Trey Young is there, you know, the way I see it is, you're paying Trey Young an ass ton of money to not even make the playoffs, okay, and yeah, maybe Trey Young, if he goes to the Spurs, or... I can't think of another team at the moment off the top of my head that needs a point guard, but the Brooklyn Nets, maybe, um, you know, the Houston Rockets, and eh, now they got Fred Van Vliet, but, you know, maybe Toronto, like, you, you, even they, they've got a manual quickly, it's just like, you, like, if you can find a team that is really interested in Trey Young, that's where you're going to get your best value, but unfortunately, I feel like 
the the value that the Hawks are going to get for Trey Young is going to be very similar to the Kyrie Irving trade when he got traded to Dallas. It's going to be, here's two good role players. Give me Kyrie Irving, right? Here's Dorian Finney-Smith and Spencer Dinwiddie. Give me Kyrie Irving. I think that's going to be a similar deal with Trey Young because point guards aren't sought after. Like, I hate to say that, but like the ring, the, the NBA is really starting to value big men again, um, like power forwards, centers, and wing players. Guards, there's enough of them in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially at the point guard position. There's enough dudes in the NBA playing point guard where it's like, Trey Young is just not a necessity for most teams. And, you know, I, I just feel like over the, this offseason, I think the Hawks are going to move on from Trey Young. Um, you know, that game against the Pacers for him was not good. 12 points, 12 assists, and 8 turnovers. Um, he's a turnover machine. He's not a good defender. He's a decent, he's an okay playmaker. He's an inconsistent shooter. Like, even though, like, yeah, he, he still shoots decent percentages. The dude's got to take like 26 shots a game. Like he reminds me of Russell Westbrook. It's like, yeah, right. Yeah. Russell Westbrook is good, but he's only good when you give him like 26 shots a game. And I just worry with Trey Young. It's like if you put him in a, another system where there's a, another head, you know, head honcho there, uh, a Dallas, um, a, I don't know, uh, a Los Angeles Lakers with LeBron and AD. If you sent him to another situation where he's just not the the focal point of the offense, a Milwaukee Bucks, like even the Bucks, like with Damian Lillard, are not gelling the way that we had anticipated like this is what happens when you're a player and you spend all your career being the only guy on the squad that's good and then you go to another situation you're expected to adapt and you just simply can't do it or don't do it well enough you know suddenly it you know you're not really a necessity you're a want so I don't know man we'll have to wait and see um I honestly, like, as far as trades go for Trey Young, maybe you could coerce the Bulls into giving you Zach Levine for Trey Young. I know that's not much different, but it's just a change of pace. You know, maybe, you know, the Atlanta Hawks play better as a team unit with just DeJounte Murray running point and having a Zach Levine who's a pure scorer next to him. Um, I, 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 like, I, I really don't know, but it's just the idea this is a team that. Uh, you know, DeJounte Murray to me is just the better player. You know, they're a team that they need bench depth. They need youth. They need like solidified, decent players. They need defensive players specifically. Like they need guys who are going to play some fucking defense because they don't like the Atlanta Hawks are one of the worst interior. Like when it comes to interior defense, the Hawks are one of the worst teams in the league, if not the worst. Um, And I, I just think like this is a team that's on a on a on a road to nowhere. You know, so long as you have Trey Young on that roster and you're paying him an ass ton of money just to never like to be a very inconsistent playoff team and you know a, a barely a playing team almost. You know, so I don't know, man. We'll have to wait and see what the off season brings. Uh, but I feel like the NBA, there's going to be a lot of shakeup this offseason. I feel like a lot of guys are going to move on from guys that maybe didn't work or didn't work as expected. Um, and Trey Young is one of those guys. Uh, you know, it, it feel it kind of sucks that DeJounte Murray came in and like basically has taken his job because at the trade deadline this past year, they wanted to move DeJounte Murray, but they were like, yeah, maybe we should keep him. He's pretty fucking good. Uh, and now Trey Young is, you know, in a... I would say a crucial regular last regular season game wasn't wasn't very good. So I don't know, man. This is a team that I think needs to hit reset. I, if I'm being honest, I think they should, you know, keep Dejounte Murray, keep Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson is clearly very good, um, but Sadiq Bay, um, Clint Capella. Uh, Bojan Bogdanovic, like all these guys that they have, I'm like, just get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get fucking draft picks and build around it, or get you know some more promising players. Um, it just they're a team. They're a very dysfunctional organization. Like I'm gonna call it what it is. Like they're a team. They're a, an organization that I'm pretty sure wishing uh, are wishing they would have never made that trade with Dallas for Luka Doncic. Um, and while at the time, while I understood like Luca and Trey were kind of on the same level, they're not even on the same level anymore. Like Luca Doncic is second in MVP voting this year, or as second highest odds to win MVP this year. Trey Young's not even in the conversation. So, you know, like I hate to say it that way, and I hate to put it that way, but the Trey Young experiment in in Atlanta has simply not worked. And if they can, 
maybe get some decent young players. Uh, like, for example, even New Orleans, right? Like, New Orleans, they have CJ McCollum. But, like, even if, if New Orleans would be willing to give up, like, I doubt it, but if they were willing to give up a Herb Jones and a Trey Murphy the third for a Trey Young or a Dyson Daniels and somebody for Trey Young, uh, the Pelicans could really benefit from Trey Young. Granted, he's not very good defensively, but they could use another facilitator. Even though CJ McCollum's been very good for them, um, that's a possibility. Um, the Minnesota Timberwolves are also another team that would really like to get uh, like a Trey Young type of player, a guy to run point guard that's good. Like Mike Conley's good, but he's getting old. So I, I don't know, man. Like I really don't know what the answer is for Atlanta. Um, but I just feel like I'm getting a vibe that they're going to move on from Trey Young or at least try to. And because he's getting paid so much money, it's going to be very hard to do that. You're going to have to find a, a team with some salaries they're looking to get rid of in order to get rid of Trey Young. And if they trade Trey Young in the offseason, there are some decent free agents out there. You know, Paul George is going to be a free agent. Granted, he's probably, I doubt he's going to go to Atlanta. But you got T- Tobias Harris out there who's decent. Um, DeMar DeRozan's going to be out there most likely. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of guys on expiring deals where it's like if you're Atlanta, if you could flip Trey Young for some draft picks and maybe uh, two solid role players or, uh, you know, a young player, a salary filler and a, a first round pick and, you know, something like that. Um, and you could sign a Tobias Harris or a DeMar DeRozan and maybe, you know, put some pieces together to make a, at least a playoff team. Um, you could be like the Atlanta Hawks could be good, but so long as they're paying Trey Young what they're paying him and so long as he's on their roster, I simply don't think that's going to happen. So tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section below. A like helps me out. Subscribe if you guys want to see more on the Fast Break Report. And I'm out of this motherfucker. Peace, guys.